Hello YouTube, it is MacApple10256. Now, um, in one of my previous videos, I did show how to make your screensaver your desktop. Well, I actually didn't show it because I did not know the code for Terminal. Um, if you're wondering, yes, I do have it on right now. Now, if you're wondering, this is a custom screensaver. You can check out my other video on that. Hold on a second. Okay. Now, uh, if you check out my video on how to create your own custom screensaver, you know that my framework, this little f file here, that has a bunch of... Um, these are all the images that are used in my uh, screensaver. Um, now these are built-in photos. They come on every Mac. I'm going to be showing you how to do this. First off, I'm going to close out of here because I do have. Okay. Now, as you can see right here, I did change my desktop. Okay. Because I thought that I could use a new one. And there's another one that's really nice, but it makes the bar up here, the menu bar, it doesn't look too nice. So I just changed it to this a beautiful Earth picture. Um, it's built into every Mac. Um, and uh, so we'll get into this tutorial. So what you're going to do is, um, an easy way to do this is just go into the Finder, then your Macintosh HD, I'll zoom in. Okay, now you're going to go to System, Library, and you're going to scroll down to Frameworks, and then Screensaver.Framework, Resources, then you're going to right click on Screensaver Engine, right click, Show Package Contents, another way to right click is to Control Click, Contents, Resources, wait a second. Sorry, my mistake. Mac OS. There it is. Now you're going to have terminal open. And now all you're going to do is you're going to drag this file right here into here. Because it will automatically put most of the code in there. That's the hard part. Now the easy part is just dash back ground. That's it. That was an out. Now check this out. Okay. Look right there. Your screensaver is on your desktop and it works perfect. Now I will tell you this is not permanent. In fact, once you exit out of terminal, you know it just just for um just for a uh, good, just so I can get this again, I'm actually going to copy this. I'm going to exit out of this, close. Look, it doesn't do anything. But then once I go back into terminal, paste. What the? Yeah. Okay, it screwed up a little there. But uh, yeah, that's basically how to do it. Remember, just... Macintosh HD system library. The reason that it already scrolled down there for me is because I already did it. So uh, on Snow Leopard, it automatically saves that change. So it made it so. Yeah. That's basically it. I'm just going to do it again. Exit out of the finder. And there you are. Exit out of there. Close. And so... There you are. Bye.